Hi everyone, bit of a rainy old day here in Queensland today, but I uh, thought I'd introduce you to our next project. It's a 1963 Chili Valley. It, um, the owner's had it for quite a few years and it's been in another shop having some work done. They, uh, they did some really nice work to it, but unfortunately they did some rather questionable work to it as well. So now we've got her, you can see uh, we've got the engine out, it's been through and uh, replaced all our suspension bushes, shock absorbers, sway bar links, been through the brakes, checked all the brakes out, we we're uh, looking down the side now at uh, some of the bodywork that needs to be done, we we're uh, looking at doing the old uh, Mexican lowrider theme on it. We've got these gorgeous wire spoke wheels to go on it just to go with the Mexican lowrider theme. Colour choice at this stage is uh, undecided, but uh, we'll keep you posted on how things progress. Thanks for watching. This is what happens when you uh, don't prepare something properly to paint it. Might only be an engine block, but uh, the paint's just falling off. Guess what I'm going to be doing for the next short uh, hour or so? So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to prime this engine. Uh, this is the engine out of our 63 Impala, Ballya, sorry, and it's been fully reconditioned and it's been sitting idle for we don't know how long. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the oil pressure gauge to the back of the block here. Just screw this in a little bit because it's just for us to get an idea that it's got oil pressure. Wind it in like this. There we go. Sit that up there so you can see that. What we have here is a primer hooked to the air drill. We're going to stick this down in the back of the block here. It's actually made from an old distributor, would you believe? And it uh, covers up all the oil galleries in here so it gets full pressure. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give her a whirl. <laughs> Okay, take two on the oil pressure priming. Hi guys, well we're back on the uh, 63 Ballier this afternoon, as you can see uh, we've got the engine back in place and uh, just putting all the bits and pieces back on it, uh, I didn't video that because uh, I do believe that YouTube take a dim view of coarse language so uh, I'd rather not put you through that, so hopefully in a day or so we'll have the old girl up and running and up and down the street driving, thanks for watching.